Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. I'm going to be switching up the formatting for this uh, brush lettering tutorial a little bit. I'm going to be doing three letters today and um, we're going to do the uppercase and lowercase at the same time. So let's get down to the table and get started. <laughs> The brush pen I'm using today is a little bigger than the ones I've been using in past lettering tutorial videos. This is a Stabilo brush pen and I enjoy the flex of this pen very much. It's got a good amount of flex that I can control when lettering. Now let's create that uppercase and lowercase g. As you can see with the style of my lettering, both cases are going to be very similar. I start off with a C curve. Then I dive down into a loop like you would add to a lowercase g. But then I add the bar of an uppercase g and a little flourish on the top. For the lowercase g, start with an oval shape and then dive down and loop back up again just like you would a normal cursive writing G. Changing angles, you can see how the pressure is applied going down the C curve and oval strokes, and then diving down for the loops on both the upper and the lowercase Gs. look at the upper and lowercase h. This is my go-to lowercase h without the loop, but here is how to write the lowercase h with the loop. I like to start with a little flourish before I take the first downstroke on the uppercase H. And when creating the bar, I like to give it a slight S curve for interest. The lowercase H is down exactly how a normal handwritten H is created. But I want to concentrate on the lowercase H with the loop. this angle, you can see how I press down on my brush pen to create those thick downstrokes. And to create the loop of the lowercase h, you can see that I glide the pen lightly upward to create the thin upstroke, then gradually apply pressure going downward. Lastly, let's look at the lower and uppercase I. I like to use this style of I rather than the cursive I. I just can't seem to get it to look right when I try to use cursive I's in my hand lettering. By now, we all know the basic idea of thick downstrokes and thin upstrokes, so creating this letter is really very simple. It's mostly a thick downstroke. In changing the angle, you can see the steady pressure onto the pen as I bring it downward, and the little pressure as I add the lines above and below the letter. 
The lowercase i is a simple underturn stroke which we all learned about in earlier videos. All right, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and you keep on practicing, keep on working on those letters. And if you liked this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell, leave a comment down below, um, anything. And I will see you again next time.